Hey everybody, uh, Dr. Rick here. Look, uh, not gonna be long. Bouncing out real quick to grab some lunch before I get back in and get the rest of my day completed. Look, everybody knows that we've been doing a fundraiser for Black Men Lead, which is a program created for black males that starts with a rite of passage program from ages four to 13. And then we uh, carry it on with numerous wraparound services that extend to the age of 30 and beyond. And these wraparound services include things like mental and emotional support, mental health support, and skill training, and uh, so, so much more. And it's a much needed uh, resource for young black males and the black community because if we don't properly socialize young black males, they become problems and they become threats and they become destructive and they become everything that we're complaining about in the black community. We need your support. Uh, I just uh, got hit up probably a couple hours ago about uh, Lakeva Jackson, who happens to be the mother of uh, uh, young thugs, uh, child or children. And she was killed either last night or a couple of nights ago um, because of an argument over a bowling ball at a bowling alley. She went to a friend's birthday party at a bowling alley, got into an argument about a bowling ball. A guy sit up and waited outside 30 minutes for her to leave and killed her, shot and killed her. Now, the level of emotional immaturity, preparation, and everything else, and no telling what else goes inside of this, but if we don't get a hold of this, this is gonna become even more and more frequent. We keep talking about intimate partner violence and intimate partner homicide. We're seeing this is happening in situations where there is no emotional connection. There is no sense of being hurt and abandoned that can lead to this. None of that stuff is justified. Absolutely none of it is justified. Black men are supposed to be the protectors of our women and children. We, we should not be the ones feared. We should not be the ones causing harm. But yet here we are. I cannot stress this enough. We are going to have to confront this or we are going to reap the whirlwind of not and I talk about this every day and we treat it casually. We keep moving on. You get a couple of likes, get a couple of shares and all that. Let me tell you something. I've put 30 years of understanding the behavior of people in our community. I've put a great deal of research and program development into understanding and mitigating African-American adolescent and young adult male violence. Now you have a person who had a disagreement People have disagreements. Things happen. You shouldn't have to worry about your daughter, your girlfriend, your wife, or your mother having a disagreement at a bowling alley and being killed, being shot and killed because of that disagreement by a male. So a male had a disagreement with a female and literally sat outside 30 minutes, plenty of time to let their senses come together and instead probably sit there and seethe waiting on her to come out to kill her. We can keep playing with this if we want to. We can keep sitting up and thinking it's arbitrary, it's abstract, it's an anomaly. It's not never gonna happen to me. I'm dealing with people who it happens to. I'm dealing with them on a regular basis. I'm dealing with people. Uh, I, I have at least two clients right now who have lost loved ones to African-American uh, violence, African-American uh, male violence uh, in the last six months. Well, July, whatever that long. So a little over six months, but the first one was in July and then there was another one in, I want to say October. And that's just up close and personal. That's not all the ones I get emails from, from people that don't, I don't know, but who know me. This is real. 
And the thing is, we have the mechanisms to start to mitigate this, to start to uh, control it. We know not only why it happens, we know how we can mitigate it, how we can reduce the rate at which it happens. We literally have all of the information. We need it, we need to resource it. We're going to have to take this seriously or we're gonna start reaping the whirlwind at, a, at an increasing rate. That's the thing, this isn't gonna get better, it's gonna get worse. And that's the enemy within that ensures we'll never achieve what we say we want, which is true black empowerment and black liberation. We have work to do. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have a great weekend.